What's going on, y'all? This is a late vlog. It's probably not even going to be actually that long. It's just to, you know, have something to post to throw up there to try to, you know, stay consistent. But uh, if you're new here, man, welcome to Overly TV. Um, if you're returning, welcome back for real, for real. Uh, fresh out of the gym. One thing I want to say, though, about the gym, like, you got to go every day, even if you go for, like, 30 minutes, just to, like, stay active and just continuously keep going to even see any type of results. And then that's when you start going for like, you know, an hour, you just build up your your tolerance of just walking through that door, just getting there. So, um, but yeah, you also learn a lot about your, your body in the gym too. Like, you know, lifting and, you know, just not just getting on the treadmill. I learned that, you know, the hard way, like just get on the treadmill, not gonna really do nothing for you. It ain't gonna show no results. So you do got to lift a little bit. You ain't got to go crazy now and try to like, you know, destroy your body in there. But you do got to, you know, maintain the muscle or whatever and just keep it toned. But one thing I wanted to say, what's up with y'all old heads that take showers in there and then try to just walk around the locker room like you at home, like naked? Like, bro, throw a towel on like it ain't other men in here. Like, that is the nastiest thing ever. Like, we do not want to see y'all like that. We do not want to see none of that. Like, bro, just put, you have a towel that you're drying off with. Wrap the towel around you. Like, what made them so comfortable? Like, what makes people so comfortable? Like, when you in the gym and you take a shower, what makes you so comfortable that make you feel at home to where you can walk around naked? Like, I get it. You you comfortable in your body. You comfortable. In, but, bro, like, it's other men in here that are looking at you. Not deliberately, but, like, yo, it's like, hey, what's going on? Like, you walk past somebody, you speak, but you naked in here, bro. Come on. You're not trying to see all that. Your gut all hanging out, and then you got your men's outside. Like, come on, bro. That's not no nudist beach. This is a, this is half locker room half shower half bathroom it should be a sign up that says you cannot leave a shower with at least not putting your drawer on you feel what i'm saying like this is crazy and mind you you would think because y'all older head you would think y'all would be like yeah let me cover up nah y'all want to just walk around naked having conversations with people like bro that's the one thing I can say need to change in the gym. Need to be signs up that says, yo, no no nudity, bruh. Especially in the locker room where you see it's men changing their shorts and changing their shoes. Nigga, had, we, we have, because uh, the young dudes, you feel me, the young bulls, we'll have tights on under our shorts. We'll take the shorts off. They too, you feel me, if they, uh, if they drenched in sweat to sit, you know, obviously sit in the car. You don't want to get your car seats dirty. You change your shorts and throw on some other joints, bro. We not trying to look at you naked. We ain't trying to see all that. But yeah, that need to change. That needs to definitely change. And, you know, and, and, and look, that's another thing about going to certain gyms. If you go to like Edge or if you go to like Life Fitness or something like that, like it's cool to come in here to go in there and wear like, you know, like a, a tank shirt or a spaghetti shirt where you want to show off your results, cool, more power to you. But if you're going in like Planet Fitness and like LA Fitness, well, they changed LA to eSport now, but LA Fitness, bro, just throw a t-shirt on, bro. We, we not trying to see all that. Like, we not trying to see all that. Like, it be dudes in here really be like, man, I just want to work out with my shirt off. Huh? That's not the gym for that, bro. Like, th 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 this ain't that. And I get it. I understand everybody's point of view. I understand. I get it. You feel what I'm saying? You proud of your results. You want to see the results. You want to, you feel me? You lifting in the mirrors and you want to see actually your muscle group moving. I get it. I get it. You feel what I'm saying? If I was at that point, I still would not be feeling comfortable working out my shirt off. Like, it's cool at a home gym, but around... I don't know, bro. I just, like, I don't know. Working out my shirt off. You want attention. Like, it, it low-key might be true what they saying, bro. It might, like, like the men in our generation, bro, like, they really, like, it's starting to, like, really come true to where some of the men in our generation starting to 
be on the, the you know starting to turn into the women and the women starting to turn into the men like it's crazy it is it's sad it's crazy because these women out here they get into the bag like never before way more than a man but what come with that money comes a lot of like you know masculinity a lot of like power and, and you know they chest out crazy and it's like it's sexy if a woman has money don't get me wrong it's very sexy it's just the way you go about it like bragging about it it's crazy like it is it, it, getting a little out of hand but i respect it i'm cool with it I, I respect it do your thing sweetheart it's just you ain't gonna belittle and talk down to me though you do that to your home girls or to them other boys that you ain't gonna get no play but but that's off topic all i'm saying is like you feel me i just can't work work out my shirt off that's just me even when i get to that point I'm gonna still throw a shirt on. Like, nah, I'm cool. Only time I'm gonna have my shirt off is when I'm changing my shirt in the locker room. And, you know, when I'm at the crib, I'm getting in the shower or something. Like, you know, I just, yeah, nah, I just, that, that taking that shirt off, yeah, it ain't for me. Yeah, I can't do that. Nah, brother, leave that to y'all. But, um, and then one lastly thing that I wanted to touch on, like, uh, it's funny, like, you know, my, I just want to make sure I'm still recording or whatever. Oh, all right, yeah, I'm good. But, um, one last thing that I wanted to touch on, uh, like my, my love life, you feel what I'm saying? And I always love to touch on it because that's always something that I feel as though is, you know, very important. It's important to, you know, feel loved and have love and love is beautiful. Uh, but the one thing that I wanted to touch on is like, um, even though I'm young, like I would love to have, you feel me, somebody in my life, like that I could at least like take to the movies, like, you know, have, you know, fun dates with, indulge with things of that nature. But it's becoming real clear to me, you know, one thing that, uh, I could say one of my, one of my mentors, cause I got a few people that kind of like mentor me, like, kind of like, you know, keep my keep my head clear or whatever um one thing i can say sometimes i do i do pick the wrong ones like you feel me i do you feel me pick the wrong ones and that's that's life you, you're not going to pick all greats you know uh but one thing i'm really noticing about you know women that you know that that i do like encounter or do like come in contact with a lot of them saying like you a good man you're a good dude you know I just don't know if you for me. And I don't even feel like that's them saying that. I personally feel like that's God telling me like, yo, like I'm trying to spare you away from where this could lead you, like the road this could take you down. And I respect all the women that said, I appreciate y'all for not wasting my time and taking me down that road. Um, of course, you feel me? All praise to God for even making that an option and making it happen that way to where it's like, I don't have to cut her off to where I feel like I'm missing out on something. So I appreciate every woman that do that. Uh, you know, I have respect for every woman that do that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a common thing with me. Like it's very common to where a woman to say like, yeah, I just don't think you feel what I'm saying. Like it'll work because you know, you a good man, you a good dude. And they probably know about themselves. Like, I know I'm not where I need to be. And I, I don't, you know, deserve somebody like you or whatever, however they want to paint the picture. And that's fine with me. I'm perfectly fine with that. But I'd rather you tell, I'd rather a woman, just to all women out there, the women that I might meet in the future, the women that, you feel me, I have met in the past. Um, I appreciate that. I love honesty. I'd rather you be honest with me like that and I'll respect you this way. I'll give you a second chance down the road rather than you playing, playing with me and you trying to you know, lie and connive and sneak your way to keep me around. And it's just never, it's just the energy not there. So I appreciate and respect every woman that does that. Um, I don't have nothing bad to say about no woman that does that. If it's meant to be, it'll spin the block. If it's not, then it is what it is. You know, it's billions of women out here. I can't just be hung up on, you feel what I'm saying? I can't even be hung up on a thousand of y'all saying the same thing. Like, yeah, I'm just just not the right timing that's fine you you're not my person you're not meant for me type thing so 
but I appreciate y'all for sitting here, you feel me, chilling with me, just listening to me rant or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna try to get some good good vlog footage within the next couple like weekends or whatever. Cause I know during the week it ain't really much to do, but like, you know, go to the gym, you know, and go get something to eat. And that, that's kind of boring because, you know, my friends, they got lives too. But on the weekends I could have like a little bit more to do, a lot more activities or whatever. And people more free, I, like, I don't know. You know, it's just, it's a lot more to do on the weekend for some odd reason. But I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for tuning in, man. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post. Leave a like, comment. You feel me? And you feel me? One day at a time, man. One video, one dream, man. Love.